Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Oh, hello there. Today we're going to continue the Subnautica playthrough series. Now, this time I've got a few things planned. One, we're going to look for some wrecks. Hopefully we can find some like shipwrecks and stuff and maybe get some scannable items out of it. And two, I want to find at least one more life pod. And I'm pretty sure this is an area where there could be one. Because if you remember, I'm pretty, I think it was life pod 6. It didn't... Oh, well... I think that may have been over there. Okay, I won't lie. I've been over here and I did discover it, but I wanted to treat it like it was new. Okay, so anyway, I found this wreck while I was playing, and I don't know if there's any scannable stuff, but I've just I moved back basically just to check around the area. Uh, there's only sand sharks around here, so there's nothing too difficult to deal with. But oh, bar table, interesting. Is that the full thing? Yes. All right, that's brilliant. Alright, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure you need glass for that, but I will be adding the bar table to the, the base at some point in the future. I will probably won't do it this time though, because I'm going to need to get some glass. Anyway, let's see, what's this, what's this, let's... Oh, uh, is that... I think we've already... yeah, we've already got that. Okay, cool. Yeah, of course we've already got that. Radio, radio, okay. I can see there's a radio at the side there, obviously, so we are going to have to go back and uh, listen to that at some point. But I'm waiting to listen to the, all the radios at once. So let's go investigate this life pod anyway. Is this life pod 6? It is. This is the one on the coordinates. I've not actually investigated it yet, but I did see it before, so I kind of told a little bit of a lie at the beginning. But uh, here we go. Life pod 6. Is there anything in here? There's some flares in there. I'll pick that lead up. I'll take the lead. Uh, anything else? Nope. Ah, and another radio. Or is that the same one? It might be the same one. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to the side there. Anyway, we're not going to go further down that way because there would probably be some big creatures down there, to be honest. But what is... Oh, I think they've already got that. Alright. Well, we're not going to go too far down quite yet because there's no need and there's a lot of other things that we need to do and we need to explore. But that's a good start. Uh, life pod 6 was a bit of a difficult one to find, but we all, well, I mean, it's kind of easy if you're around the area, but, uh, oh, alright, sorry, I think we've just found another wreck, I th yeah, I'm pretty sure this is another wreck over here, so let's have a, have a look, we've already got ourselves a bar table, and we've investigated the life pod that's going smoothly, any entrances to this, uh, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a way in, oh, there we go, Alright, now let's have a look. Battery charger. I mean, we've already got a really good battery charger. This opens up. Come on, let's go. And what's inside? What's inside? Do I? Yep, I do have my laser cutter. I built one. I don't know if I remember building it on screen or off screen, but I do build. I did build one. We. I knew we found the schematic for it, but I did build one so we could do stuff just like this, and just go and investigate, see if there's anything that we're missing. Because I know in one of these wrecks, the aquarium is in it, and I really want to find that. I don't know if we'll find it this time. <gasps> Death. Ooh, lightweight. Uh, ooh. I think that's for the modification station. We'll have to check that out. Mobile vehicle bay. Modification station. Yes! Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, we've got a modification station now. Uh, I've, I was looking for that the last episode, but uh, I couldn't find it, unfortunately. But now, well, not all the parts, but now we've got all of them. Turns out that some of it was around the mushroom forest and some of it was in these racks, but here we go. Just wanted to turn this around so we can get an easier way in. Uh, we've got ourselves a refuel of oxygen. Oh, electricity. I'm surprised I didn't insta -kill us. We've already had that. What's that? That's mobile vehicle bear. Right, let's go down. Um... 100 meters, we're fine. I've already got them. Is there anything new? Oh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, interesting. Well, I'll be having a look at that when I get back, that's for sure. Alright, uh, floodlight, floodlight. We could do with some floodlights because we've only got the spotlights at the moment. So, floodlights would be good. Propulsion cannon? Yes! Oh my god, there's so much stuff down here. Alright, we've already got that. So we've got some floodlights, propulsion cannon, and whatever that thing was in there. I can't remember already. But uh, we've already got all of them. Modification station as well. We ooh, we took a bit of damage again there. We've already got quite a lot of stuff from this one wreck. I'm pretty happy about that, honestly, everyone. I really am. Um, Alright, let's 
let's go and search for somewhere else. I'll be back with you when I find something interesting, but uh, I'm just going to double check that there's nothing else around here real quick. Just make sure that there's nothing else lying around. Alright, there's nothing. I will see you guys in a sec. Right everyone, I'm back. I'm back at the base now. I couldn't really seem to find much around that area, but we are going to focus on building the modification station. But first of all, plant pot, because this is a new part of the base. Um, I. I have literally been building so much onto this base um, since I got all that lithium from the last time when we went in the mushroom forest. I have built so much stuff. We're going to put all of the new stuff that we scanned. Ugh, where can I put this? Uh, can we put it there? I don't know. Well, anyway, we um, we got loads of lithium last time and I've extended the base massively. Uh, and I just want to put some of the new stuff that we scanned, like the nuclear waste disposal. Just place them around and the new rooms and stuff. I'm just trying to figure out where the heck to put this, if I'm going to be honest, because it doesn't... It, it'll go there, will it? Will it? Yeah? No? Maybe? Yeah, that'll do. We'll have the nuclear waste disposal unit there, that's cool. Obviously, this is the main part. We've already seen this. You've already seen this part of my base with the bioreactor and the farms and vending machine. I'll eat that. Make sure my vital signs are doing alright. That's pretty good. Um... I'm gonna need some stuff on oh, first aid kit as well. I'm gonna put some stuff away, but I'm also gonna look. I'm looking for something right now before I put some stuff away. Computer chip? No, 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 no. Uh, we don't need any first aid kits. We've got. We. I'm looking for something, but I can't. I can't find it. Uh, it's stuff for the modification station, though. Oh, do I want to build that afterwards? I don't know. I'm just double checking everything everything that that's in supply first of all. Alright, let's build some copper wire first. Okay, cool. Um we need some coral. <laughs> we need some coral, goddammit. Um there should be some around here. To be fair. Oh, uh Right, cool. My character is in need of food, so we're gonna have to be careful with that, but we'll manage it. Oh, there we go. Pick up some table coral. That's fine. I'm pretty sure we only need a couple pieces or so, so that's fine by me. Uh, come on. Nope, not there. Computer chip. There we go. There we go. We've got that good. And now, uh, what else do we need for this? We've got the computer chip. What else do we need? I want to make this modification station. Uh... Where is it? I've always got to double check these types of things. What's that? Ooh, when we get the moon pool, that's good. That's going to be really useful. But that's not what we're trying to create right now, though. That's that's going to be for a later time. Um, uh, what is that? Okay, modification. Oh, we just need diamond. Um, that's fine. We've got we've got some diamond as well. So I think we can go place it now. I'm going to go place it in one of the new rooms that we've built. Uh, it's such a beautiful base though, now, now that we've worked on it. Oh, inventory full. Um, but there's so much more space to work with, I've got so many more rooms. I'm going to have like a bed in one of them eventually. I don't know when that's going to be, but I think I'm going to put the modification station in the middle of the room. Like, directly though, because my OCD will annoy me. Come on, just directly? That's as close as it'll get. Alright, there we go. Modification station. Brilliant. I'm going to put some lockers in here as well, just because I'm running out of some space in the other rooms. And honestly, it's always good to just have lockers in every room anyway, just in case. I'll make a glass locker. I've not got one of these yet, so it's always good to try out new items. Uh, what else can I put in here? I don't know. Let's have a look in here first. Oh, thermal blade. We need a battery. Wait, high capacity plasteel. I think we can make a plasteel ingot. I think it's just a titanium ingot and lithium. Uh, we can probably get some of these upgrades. Not the ship ones, like the Seamoth quite yet. Or the Prawn Suit. We don't even have access. Or the Cyclops. God, we don't have any of those. Um, but we can probably get the Ultra Glide Thins, though. I'm pretty sure. And what else do we need? We need Lithium, Silicone, and stuff. Okay, cool. I'm going to go and search. For, uh, I'll be eating some of that, though, because my hunger will just keep deteriorating if I don't. Let's go have a look inside here. We do have plenty of lithium. I'm pretty sure you need two. Um, let me just 
check the rest of the chests. We do need silicone, and I think for that I'm probably gonna go need uh, probably gonna need to go outside and cut some of the vines in order to get it. I'm just double checking that there's none just lying around in here. Okay, no, we'll have to go outside. That's fine. I'll just cut some of it and. Hopefully this will be enough. I'm pretty sure it gives you two silicon anyway. And yeah, it does. It does silicon. Wait, oh no, is that right? I may. I'll turn this into fiber mesh for now. Uh, we need to go get the seeds, which you can't farm very easily. You've got to kind of go to the kelp forest to get that, unfortunately. But that is no problem. Don't want to listen to the radio quite yet. All right. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Go. Go. I'm just going to go quickly to pay a visit to the kelp forest. I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm back. I uh, just went to the kelp forest and got some of the seeds. I just cut that part out though because it's a bit boring. But here we are. We're right back at the base. And now I'm going to turn these right into some silicon. Uh, I did get a couple. So I'm just going to turn it all into silicon rubber. Uh, just because it just saves me the effort of going back and forth all the time. So there we go, we've got plenty of silicon rubber now. Literally six six of them so far, so that's pretty good. And I think that's all we needed, uh, as far as I know. I'm gonna go double check now. We've got our food, our water's fine, our food level's all right for now as well, so don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, oh, we're missing something. Our oh, fins, we just gotta take our fins off. That's fine, because we can turn them into upgraded fins. Right, there we go. Upgrades, ultra glide fins. There we go. That and this will make us go much faster. I'm pretty sure. So that's really, really good. And they've already went on us. That's great. I want to get at least one more upgrade done from this uh, modification station because I feel like the oxygen tank might be really useful. And all we need for that is titanium ingot and lithium. So let's go make ourselves some of that and see what we can get from it. Let's have a look. Um. We need all our titanium. I put some of it in chests, didn't I? Yeah, I did. We now oh, that's it. That's all you need for plasteel. So let's get some uh, of the <laughs> of the titanium, and let's just craft ourselves an ingot straight away. No fuss about it. And okay, that's that done. Brilliant. And now what else? What else? We need some lithium. Uh, was it only one lithium? I think it was. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. Well, it was two, but I already had one of those. Okay, that's good. That's great. And now we're going to have ourselves a much better oxygen tank so the oxygen tank won't weigh us down anymore. And all of this is just going to help with speed, but these are permanent upgrades. Even if we die, we get to keep these, so that's great. And there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm just reading it. There we go. Alright. Spot on. We've got Okay, we've made some really good upgrades now. Right, I'm really happy with that personally. It means we've got better fins and better oxygen tank. I'm happy with that for now, honestly. I'm really over the moon with that. Um, I'm just sorting out my inventory. I'm going to put a poster down. Put it right... I'll put it on the reinforced one. Since uh, it won't need, I won't need to move it later if it's on the reinforced one. There we go. I think that's everything I think we've got everything sorted I'll show you the rest of the base this is the another room this is another bonus room as well and then we've got this final room here but I've also put some moss on there as well and then uh, this is the overall base so thank you all so much for watching and I know this has been a little shorter one than usual but uh, I'm, I think we've made a decent pr amount of progress either way but I hope you all have an amazing day slash night and I will see you all in the next Subnautica video or any video I make bye everyone <laughs>